Welcome to another episode of Here Taste This. My man crush. My man Kershaw. My man Kershaw. He's going to win this game. He's got to win this game because the rest of his team doesn't give a damn. Anyways, I'm not going to do baseball talk all night. I got to cook dinner for my wife. Tonight I really have no theme, no ideas. No, I'm making breakfast. No, I'm wearing a stupid hat. All right, there's a lot of things in here I definitely need to use. These mushrooms. Yep, still okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use the rest of this cucumber. Strawberries, still okay. I might use strawberries. Oh, God. I'm thinking this cauliflower is gone. I did eat quite a bit of it, but I did not get all of it. Food goes bad so quickly after all these things that have gone bad in here. I'll tell you one thing that never seems to go bad. Carrots! A couple of pairs here. A couple of pairs of what? So is it four of something? No, silly. A couple of pairs. I think I've got an idea. So this is gonna be really easy and not particularly that innovative. Brown rice. Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yes, mahi mahi. This has been in here for probably six weeks or so. I'm just gonna do it tonight. I don't know what's gonna happen. So my phone fell out of where it was and did this turn as it did it, end over end, and chased this brown rice box into the sink like a boulder coming at Indiana Jones. Ugh, man. Oh, God. This is anything like giving birth. Women should run everything. I think one of the most important things for any chef to do first is go through and figure out all the things that he has to throw away. And then just like NASA sending spaceships into the sky made by the lowest bidder, the things that make it onto the menu are the ones that were just above that line. Oh, no, no. into my bedroom, turned on the light, looked around, looked around, had no idea why I was there, came right back out to you folks. Maybe you can help me. Hi. Welcome to my cooking show. Please hold this mushroom. <laughs> Well, tonight, to give you some music for the evening, I will turn you over to a jazz concert called Beth Rohde and Friends. I was one of the friends. Got to sing some jazz with some awesome, awesome musicians, so here's a little bit of that along the way. They're writing songs alone, but not for me. A lucky star's above, but not for me. We'd love to lead the way I found more clouds of gray Than any Russian play could guarantee Yeah, load it up. So is coconut oil good or is it not good? For years, no oh, coconut oil. It's the best thing. Cook everything in coconut oil. Bathe in coconut oil. Do you ever get an enema with coconut oil? Now, come to find out, oh, no, no, no. Hold up on that coconut oil. You'll grow another... I believe that in the winter of 1694, faced with savages on the borders, starvation, you have died of dysentery. When they had no more bullets left in order to shoot the little game that they could find, they said, we could use these as ammunition. They're unbreakable. I was supposed to eat carrots because Bugs Bunny ate them. It's gonna make me wry, be able to stand up to lions and hunters. I really wanted to handle them by just chewing on a carrot, but then I decided that the most disgusting part of that whole situation was the carrot. There's some metaphor for life in here somewhere. You didn't know you were coming to hear taste this, to watch a man dole out philosophy while he needs the freezer burn out of a bag of brown rice. It's not for me. Hi, dude. Oh, 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 I've done it. I've done it. I've, I've riled him up. And this is what he does. He screams and cries until he can come run it right past me. See? This is... Neighbor Lindsay! Uh, Lindsay, I, I, I don't know if you've noticed that I'm, I'm much taller. 
and uh, stronger. No, I just ate a, a power mushroom. <laughs> oh God, there's carrots in there. Oh, it smells good in here. You're using coconut oil. Well, yes, and all of its benefits. Clinking, shut out, Kershaw. The greatest of all time, go! Holy crap, things are flying. These look a lot like basically just a fancy hot pocket. Trader Joe's, you fooled me for the last time. That's not true. Well, I'm gonna be fancy with this fancy hot pocket and put it on a cookie sheet because that makes me a grown up. This thing explodes everywhere and the brown rice goes everywhere. Ratings. <laughs> Crisis averted once again. Perhaps you've seen the direction I'm going with this now. Yo soy, soy. So you see, this is kind of a lazy thing for me. Really, the only reason to make this fried rice, Thai lime and chili cashew. All right, now we got, oh, we got a lot of cashews in there. We'll put a little of this in there. Yep, 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 yep. What we don't have yet is sweet, and I think every fried rice should have something sweet. Bosque pears are some of the best things. Why am I still holding this cutting board? And why do I use, I've got, as you know, many cutting boards. And I always use the smallest one, because it's in front. I hope you're enjoying the music, the uh, wonderful children. Costumes. about the strawberries though. It's gonna be kind of similar to something I've done before. Cucumber, Mexican crema. Uh oh. Dang it. I think it's gone bad. Rather than poison us, regular sour cream. Still smells all right. Only the finest for you, honey. Oh, expiration is today. <laughs> and I went to shake it and I just shook pretty much all of the Worcestershire sauce onto the rice. I don't expect anybody to replicate this with the uh, measurements of, whoops, amount of Worcestershire. One last wrinkle. We're getting wacky tonight. Oh no, come on, the pan is not cooperating. So I've got this here for Alu Chak. Okay, honey, the repast awaits your mouth. It's amazing, I was not expecting that. So I got an egg and a hot pocket. Okay, what'd you so do? So it's fried rice, which you know, okay. there's nothing that, that special. It's brown rice. But it's just about every vegetable we had in the house. So there's broccoli and those peppers and carrots. Those Thai lime cashews. Yes. Mahi mahi and pear and a lot of Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> This is the aloo chat, pea and curry filled pastry. Mm -hmm. The sauce is just strawberries, sour cream, and cucumber. Cheers. Here taste at gmail.com. Taste this here, Twitter. Uh, thanks to Beth Rohde, Matt Rohde, Richard Simon, Alex Smith, M6. Thanks to my wife for taking that footage. I hope you enjoyed the music. See you next time. Do you like pajama? And I like pajama.
And there's a funny story about that. Maybe apocryphal, but I'm not sure. The legend goes that somebody auditioned for my music theater program, my college music theater program, singing that song as a solo. Already kind of a little tricky there, but they, they didn't really understand the, the nature of the song, so they just sang, I like potato and you like potato, I like tomato and you like tomato, which is fine, that's a very joyful, unifying song until then they just, for some reason, called it off. They were, they were going so well. 